students in this Arlington, Virginia classroom are creating their own animated stories using Scratch. Most of them, like Lydia Melgar from El Salvador, are learning English as a second language. Because we have to use a lot of vocabulary as well. You have your web browser open. Computer science teacher Jeff Elkner introduced Scratch to the students in March. At first, I wanted to introduce Scratch to teach programming. That was the the original motivation. What we found when we were working with Scratch was that it was actually amazingly good at teaching language skills. Scratch was developed here at Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Media Lab. Creators at the privately endowed college say the program is designed to help young people develop learning skills, think creatively, and work together. Karen Brennan is a doctoral student and a Scratch project leader. Our agenda isn't to create armies of programmers. Really, it's the ability to express yourself. We think that everyone should be able to create their own media. Scratch is intended to be simple enough for anyone to use. It's based on a system of building blocks that snap together with various commands. There are more than 100 blocks to choose from, as well as a library of visual elements included in the program to get started. Anyone can download the program for free from the website, which was launched in May 2007. When the website was launched, I think the group wasn't entirely sure what would happen. You know, would anyone use it? What would people create? So I think a week or two after the website went live, this appeared. It was created by a nine-year-old girl in Germany. She imported her own photos, drew her own pictures, and recorded her own voice for a B game. Hallo, ich bin die Biene Maya. Other Scratch users have created virtual museums where you can learn about works of art, interactive maps to teach geography, and all kinds of animation. This project was done by a Harvard University student for a computer programming class. There have even been international collaborations, like this game created by an eight-year-old, a thirteen-year-old, and a fifteen-year-old from different countries. They decided on an idea, someone did an initial version, someone else downloaded it, extended it, and continued it. In the two years since its launch, the Scratch website has attracted a quarter of a million registered users who have contributed 400,000 projects. So it should be the, a 2 and a 5.5. Jeff Elkner's students are among those users, and the projects they create will have a home on the Scratch website as well. Susan Logue, VOA News, Arlington, Virginia.